manifestation all right we all know about it for some of us it might have even started our spiritual journey not me though but or if we're like introduced to spirituality or taking it seriously in some form you know it's typically through our ego's attraction to the law of attraction manifestation right and the thing about manifesting is it's very real it is very real to if you think about something and if you like you know you see a lot of success stories you see a lot of techniques the crazy thing about those sex success <laughs> that was the craziest Freudian slip ever but the craziest thing about these success stories is that the techniques they offer you like they work like if you really what manifestation is about and i don't mean to make this a manifestation video i just want to break it down manifestation is about just simply at your core believing that certain things are in your life and that you know you and your natural state whoever you basically it's believing that the person you are gets that money gets that specific person you know what i'm saying it's not so much about oh, i gotta i gotta write their name seven thousand times i gotta vis visualize myself having money money's falling over me i'm like that scene in with leonardo dicaprio and margot robbie i heard it was really painful no okay it's about just believing you're the type of person to have that amount of money believing you're the type of person to be in this relationship right and it's working all the time you know you are who you think you are or whatever I think therefore I am is the official way to say it, but yeah, you are who you think you are. So manifestation is very, very real. If you believe earnestly that you're going to be rich and then another part of it is what people like to call inspired action. Really, it's just doing something that you're, it, 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 I mean, it's not even nothing mystical or just mystical. It's not nothing crazy. It's just like, oh, I'm inspired to become a car salesman. So I'm going to study about that because, you know, so you just that initial, you know, idea plus it's really very logical when you think about it. You know, you want to be with somebody. Okay, well, I mean, where the law of attraction part comes in is like you start thinking about them and you see them more, but that's just that's just one of the funny things about life. What you think about, you know, what's in your subconscious a lot comes to pass, you know what I'm saying? Like if you think about someone a lot, you will, you know, start to come into contact with them more. <laughs> you know, if you focus positive or negative energy on seeing them you're still going to see them because no matter how you feel about it you're still envisioning seeing them see visualize like not you know obsessively visualizing but casually visualizing just dream state you know brief moments just really believing that things are a part of your reality that's manifestation and i got really good at manifesting i got really good at it I, um, you know, everyone likes to talk about manifesting a specific person. Hey, I did that. You know what I'm saying? But it's, and I'm about to tell on myself, you know what I'm saying? It's when you manifest a specific person and then they turn out to be everything you didn't need in your life. That's what I'm talking about. See, manifesting is real, but if you make too much of a big deal about it and say, oh, I'm manifesting this, I'm using the law of attraction for this and you're obsessive with it. It can hurt you just as easily as it can help you. See, what the crux of this video is, is that you could be manifesting something that you don't even you don't even know that you don't really want it. You know what I'm saying? Like you could try to be manifesting. Everybody loves to talk about a specific person. That's like the biggest. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. Everyone wants to manifest unconditional love. And then it's just like, OK, they inadvertently or, you know, consciously end up projecting it onto a certain person that the ego wants you're trying to fulfill your soul with an egoic desire you know what i'm saying so you it's shit starts to go awry you know what i'm saying you wanted this new job at this pristine office turns out you don't like that culture at all but you manifested that job but now you see how manifesting is chaotic because you thought you could heal heal your soul you thought you could help your soul with something that your ego wanted this person that you look at in the mirror these fucking meat suits they're not real they're not they're not real and it's not that you have to stick to the identity that this person has it's that whatever you go through whatever space you're in you adapt and create new identities which means identity in and of itself is not real it's constantly changing whatever you surround yourself with whatever you do a lot you 
either consciously or unconsciously start to identify with it and thus start becoming a new person. Now, don't get me wrong. Your soul essence, it could always be there, who you are at the core, it could always be there, but it'll have different expressions to basically the point where people will look at you like, wow, damn, you're a different person. Oh, you're way different. You know, your soul can unfold and look like a multitude of different things. We all have kaleidoscopic souls where you look into it. You know, this is you. This is your soul looking into it. And this is your eye, you know, going around different experiences. Oh, now I'm a thug and I'm tough because I started boxing. Ooh, I'm peaceful and quiet and soft-spoken because I started gardening. Ooh, I want to get popular on the internet. So I'm going to just keep on saying the outrageous things that come to my head and act in an eccentric way <laughs> anyway yo, um but yeah i kind of gave up on manifesting when i started you know thinking i got i was getting shit i wanted and i the results made me feel fucked up or it wasn't exactly what i wanted it to be you know what i've i've started to find way more peaceful just following like your forget desires forget wanting anything the only way you could fulfill your soul is by listening to your soul that's number one getting in tune with that's kind of number one too so getting in tune slash listening to your intuition listening to your intuition trusting god's will and just let shit unfold that's what I'm not about. Oh, I'm going to feel good when I get a million subscribers. Fuck it. I'll feel good. At, I'll feel that same. Fe I'll feel even more of that feeling by doing what I'm divinely inspired to do right now. I'm not talking about, oh, I want to go smoke weed and eat raisin canes. That's not you following your divine will. That's just your meat suit craving something. I'm talking about, damn. This book just kind of fell into my lap. I'm really trying to read it. Things constructive. This is all you got to practice learning discernment. This is why you got to learn how to discern what's good for your soul versus what's bad. That's why number one is listening and getting in tune with your intuition. Start meditating more. Start just being more conscious. You know what I'm saying? Then you can realize, hmm, okay, I have this desire to link up with this chick. And I already know she a freak and it's on go. So I'm about to just see what's up with it. That's just your meat suit desiring things. What your soul desires is, damn, you know, this person I met, you know, they were just reading a book and we were talking about some intellectual shit. You know, it's not my, I don't, you know, think of myself as that person or anything, but, you know, it's outside my comfort zone. I just feel called to do it. You got to practice discernment to know when your heart is singing for you to do something. When your soul feels at peace doing something, you're going to know. You're going to know. You're going to know. The feeling I get from accomplishing one more of these videos, the feeling I get from working on a song, the feeling I get from reading a really good fucking book, the feeling I get from writing a good ass book, that kind of eternal joy, that being in sync with the present moment, you can't buy that. And that's why instead of manifesting, I'm more so for, look, I'm gonna just follow my intuition and do what my heart is calling me to do because that's intuition is, is God's language. It's telling you what you should do, what you feel called to do, what you feel like you're meant to do, just going in that direction. Because when you're in that direction, you can't feel wrong at all. And everything just kind of unfolds and work and it's beautiful and you can't understand it. That's why you got to have faith in this world. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith and love for yourself to the point where you're like, hey, you know what? I don't quite understand why I feel called to do this. Not that I just want to go and I'm going to use it again, smoke weed and eat raisin canes or drink. No, not, not, that, not that I, you know, just want to feel good, want some cheap instant gratification. No, I feel like I'll be like real. Y'all know what feeling I'm talking about. God damn it. You know how it feels. It, picture it like being in love with someone, but instead of like that feeling with another person, it's when you're doing something, what you're passionate about and things that make you feel like they might inspire passion. You know what I'm saying? Going on a certain path, you know what I'm saying? In your daily run, just for the fuck of it, you know, go into the store on the other side of town, checking for, cause you really want an old TV and a VHS. You want a VHS camera and unbeknownst to you, you're going to start vlogging your day and go by. This is what I'm talking about. What's meant to fulfill your soul will naturally unfold if you just trust the present moment and your intuition. And to drag it all back to the point of the video, that's why I really don't, I, I kind of, manifestation 
is something that when you're subtly conscious of it, it could do a lot for you. You know what I'm saying? If you if you just apply the principle of really believing you're the type of person that, you know, can achieve. Basically, I feel like it's more so believing you're abundant is better. Just believing that you are successful, being confident in yourself in general will get you way farther than trying to manifest specific things in people. Just believing that you're that person that could get to these heights. You know what I'm saying? That could have this relationship. You know, that could be that successful. That could look that good. Believing that you're that person who could do that shit in general is way better than, oh, I want this specific person in this specific job because I think I'm going to get this result. You can't predict the results. The only thing you can, life is like currents, okay? If you're feeling good, you're going to keep feeling better. If you're feeling bad, you're going to keep feeling worse. So the only thing to do is to get in touch with yourself and feel that power within, feel what it's calling you to do. And everything's going to naturally unfold. And the more you let things naturally unfold, it's a positive cycle. You usually hear about vicious cycles. This one's a positive one. You're going to keep trusting yourself. Keep feeling the way you want. Keep getting the results you want because you're in tune with that frequency of being at peace, being content, being happy, thriving. It's all about frequency, getting tuned into that. And once you keep tuning yourself into your intuition, tuning into that frequency of just not even having a lot of money, success, power, just that eternal divine contentment feeling y'all know what i'm talking about if you really feel what real niggas feel but for real though so you know if you're having trouble with manifesting i advise you know really you you can't study like the science behind it and know what the i i tried to tell you what the core principles were and what it really brings to you and like the real teachings that are within it that could help you in a practical way Remember those and drop the attachment to specific things, bro. Because that attachment, not only will it get you results you might not want, it'll just leave you feeling as confused and blah as however. The peace you get from truly trusting yourself and watching the steps unfold as you just trust more and more in yourself and that divine guidance, that intuition, that will of God, you'll be free.